One new feature addition to 3D Coat 4.9.07 is the addition of the freeze brush to the surface tools when you are sculpting in voxel mode. There is one major caveat I should mention, and that is the freeze brush does not work when you are using voxel brushes. The nature of voxels is such that you can't currently freeze volumetric pixels. 3D Coat basically turns on and turns off volumetric pixels in space, and it adapts this outer mesh to fit on the fly. So let me demonstrate quickly on this particular layer. I have wireframe turned on, so you can see the behavior a bit better. I'm going to use the extrude brush and a rectangular brush alpha. And as I brush, you'll notice this adaptive outer mesh maintains a certain level of uniformity throughout the entire stroke. At no point do I have any polygonal stretching. So I'll undo. Now let's switch to clay in the surface tools. You can see a much different behavior. And the main thing is all this polygonal stretching. If I were in surface mode on my layer, there are tools to mitigate this polygonal stretching, but I won't get into all that. I don't want to spend an entire video explaining the difference between voxels and surface mode. But suffice it to say that when you use the freeze brush, you will be relegated to using only the surface brushes thereafter. So let me undo this real quick. I will now switch to the freeze brush. And uh, let's say... I want to work in this area and I want to freeze these toes here. I will go ahead and brush. And if need be, you can use the options here in the freeze menu, just like you would if you're in surface mode. I'm going to turn wireframe off for the moment. And if I need, I can hold down the control key to invert the action where I'm actually erasing the freeze mask. I can also hold down the shift key while the freeze brush is active and that will smooth the boundary of that freeze mask. So I'm going to do it a few times. Okay. Now I can switch to other brushes such as maybe the rapid brush. Turn the depth down or right click and drag down. Decrease the depth level. Then I can go in with the shift key held down and smooth. If I were to switch to a voxel brush, it will automatically clear this selection and it will switch back to voxel mode on the fly. Even though I'm technically in voxel mode on my layer, it's just leaving the voxel brushes up to where it's visible, but I'm actually operating in surface mode at this point in time uh, where it's sculpting on this outer mesh. These surface tools are just a very basic set of brushes that allow you to switch very quickly to a surface brush without actually having to switch the entire layer. So let's clear that by hitting Control D or from the freeze menu, you click unfreeze all, but I'll hit Control D just like I would in Photoshop to clear a selection. And then I could go through and smooth everything, holding down the shift key.
But that's a quick look at using the freeze brush amongst the surface tools when you are working in voxel mode. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time.